Hey guys and welcome to another specy video. We're gonna have a look at a game called Glass, published by Quicksilver in 1985. And this is another game with uh, cover art by David Rowe. Remember seeing this black and white ad back in the day and thinking, whoa, those green shots up there look lush. And the game does indeed look quite nice, but it's uh, maybe a little bit simpler than you would expect after seeing these amazing screenshots. But I do remember having fun with this game, so there's hope. And this game is another one-man show. The game has been done by Paul Hargraves, who I believe has done all the coding and all the graphics and sound effects and whatnot. Pretty impressive. So with that, let's dive into the game. And sadly, I'm playing this on an emulator because no matter what version I tried, I could not get this to load on my real spectrum. It's using some sort of burst load technique. That means that it just keeps loading many smaller files for copy protection, I presume. And my spectrum refuses to load that for some reason. It also means that it takes a lot longer to load, about four and a half minutes or something like that. So here we are, and uh, I do believe the uh, the HUD of the game is actually loaded into screen memory directly. Just to say memory, I presume. Leaving base now, yeah, this looks uh, pretty cool. There's a lot of cool visual effects in this game. Paul really uh, spent some time making it look nice. And here's pretty simple first stage. We're just supposed to shoot the, uh, the wonky looking alien here. And it almost kills itself. It's a bit weird. Alert. All right. And I don't know what's going on there. That, that thing just farts and flies away, even though I'm not shooting it. So <laughs> I think maybe we get directions on where to go if we look at the compass, maybe. Or maybe not. Now, this is a little bit weird. I'm not sure what's going on. And the manual is... As was often the case, pretty cryptic and not very in-depth. But hey, we're going to Area 2 or Stage 2 and we get this nice checkerboard effect. Yeah, there's a lot of visual fluff in this game. And it does look really nice. And it's just got basically a bunch of mini-games uh, that all look rather pleasing. And we're just supposed to avoid the towers and this is damn fast for a spectrum. <laughs> it's pretty impressive in all its simplicity. So is it fun? Well, I mean, I suppose, to an extent. This looked cool back in the day and it's I've played far worse. And to be honest, I've only played a little bit, so let's not judge the game just yet. Let's try and avoid these things, whatever they are. Yeah, this is running really nice and smooth and yeah, I know, the graphics are really, really basic. I'm probably moving in 8x8 pixel squares. Can I fire? No, I can't. Oop. I think we have a time limit and we have a shield. Yeah. So I think even if we should fail, I think we can press C to continue according to the manual. But again, the manual was not entirely clear about what the hell is going on in this game. So we'll see what happens. Should I run out of time or screw up? I will try and press C. I think the, the drawback is that we're not going to get to keep our score. This bouncy thing is super annoying. It looks a bit like one of those... Um, what, what were they called? Spy droids from Star Wars? From Empire Strikes Back? A little bit. And there's a pretty nice little um, reflection on the ground there. That's pretty damn cool. Oh, yeah, okay. Next stage. Yeah, this is going swimmingly. Now we are shooting astronauts that are chucking balls in our face. Because there's got to be balls, right? They very casually just walk around. And then somehow magically fires balls at me. I don't know what's going on. This is just a bit weird. One would imagine that they would be facing me given that I am clearly a threat, right? Because I'm shooting them in the crotch, which I can't imagine is very pleasant. But hey, what do I know? I'm not going to judge anyone else. And I'm not sure what I need to do before the time runs out. Do I need to shoot a certain amount of these guys or... Yeah, it's, it's all a bit unclear. But I do move on, so I'm doing something right, I think. And check out how many zeros there are in the score. That, that is pretty substantial. 
Getting a high score in this game is going to involve a lot of digits. And my oh yeah, my shield is going down if I hit these things. Got a little bit stuck there, and oh, my shield replenished itself somehow. Not sure why. Maybe I have extra lives. Do remember enjoying this game, mostly because I could just drool over the graphics that were kind of nice. There we go. Stage, whatever. Same fella again, same droid dude. He's really getting annoying, bouncing all over the shop. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember this. I think we're supposed to shoot the... the um, satellite receivers there, the dishes. <laughs> satellite dishes. So they lose all their TV channels. We're supposed to shoot that stuff? Oh yes we are. We're supposed to shoot basically anything sticking out of this ship. Yeah, this looks pretty damn cool. Can I shoot? No, I think only the things protruding from the ship. Yeah, it's a weird bunch of mini games this, but again, it does look really nice. Okay, more of this. Okay. Is that a tank? Certainly looks like it. I would have liked some sort of radar, but I can't really see one. At least the arrows could point me in the direction that I need to turn, but they're actually just showing which direction I'm, I'm turning, so yeah, weird. Oh, more bouncy things. All right, a substantial amount of bouncy sprites later. More tanks that look slightly different. Yeah, I mean, okay. Oh, don't, don't puke balls at me. Yeah, this is maybe getting a little bit, I don't know, maybe, you know, repetitive. But without a radar, it's a little bit cheap. And I think we're supposed to uh, destroy three cities. Uh, one at the end of each bunch of stages or something. And we have a slightly different looking ship. <laughs> They're even more bouncy now. I'm, I think I'm starting to get seasick <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this just keeps going. Oh, we've got something chucking balls at us again. Right about now, I would love to see some variation in this game here. Right, so what's next? Ah, oh, more of this. More tanks that I think maybe look a little bit different or maybe exactly the same as the first bunch of tanks? Let me guess. Time to destroy satellite dishes? Nope, it's time to... Oh! Avoid the big things while lightning attacks me. Okay, I might be game over. The end. You have failed to attain the standard expected of a fleet member. Okay, fine. Let's press C. Continue mission. Yeah, I don't care if I'm not going to get to keep my score. I just want to see what's happening next. And yeah, this game is very iterative. There's always like small additions. Oh god, being made for most of the mini games here. Add a little bit of lightning, add some balls, change the tanks a bit. And again, yeah, it does look nice, but oh god, how am I... It really does get a little bit repetitive. Oh, it's taking forever. Come on, come on down, man. Come on down. Oh, this guy can take a beating. Oh my god, that took forever. Oh, please, no more of this. And they are getting really jittery, these guys. Oh, oh come on. All I want to do is use one of my nukes on a beautiful city and turn it into a smoldering pile of radioactive dust. And yet again, I think the tanks look slightly different. Oh, new tank. I mean, look at this thing. What is wrong with you? You psycho. Oh, they've changed tactics a bit. This is more of a direct approach, just going straight for you. That's a bit refreshing. Ooh. Posh new ship, but still the same 
thing to do. Yay! New bouncy thing! Yeah, this game seems mainly focused on just looking nice. Not caring too much about gameplay. Ah, oh, yet another variant. Yet another ship to shoot at. Ooh, it's got moving parts. So much variation! Shame the, um, the gameplay hasn't got as much variation as the graphics, really. <laughs> oh god, this is a long one. Apparently size does matter. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of moving thingies on this ship. But thankfully it's all over now. Please, let me reach a city. Please. Oh my god, this is mm, getting worse here. It's getting faster. The game sure makes me work for my nuclear pleasures. God, yeah, this is getting tricky. This is almost the most fun bit of the game. Even though it's also a bit cheap at times because some of these buildings will cover up the buildings behind it. Ah, uh, oh, what? Yeah, okay. It's getting a bit tricky. It's an armada. Oh my. And yet again, it's game over. Well, you know, I'm gonna try to just press C again because I want to see one of those cities. I really do. Playing for maybe about 20 to 25 minutes, so yeah. Yeah, the game is certainly picking up in speed and difficulty, but not necessarily in fun level. <laughs> oh! New tank variant. This time it's driven by two dead people. Oh, another one of these. <laughs> I wish they'd just remove the checkerboard pattern between levels, because it's getting on my nipples a tad. I know what I'm going to dream about tonight. Tanks and balls. This game probably came about after the coder came up with some uh, visually interesting ways of displaying graphics on the spectrum and then wrote a game around that. Oh my god, what are you doing, please? You utter psycho. Please, let me just reach the first city. I deserved it, I've been playing for uh, more than 30 minutes. This game surely must be one of the circles of hell, right? Oh! Approaching alien citadel, all right. I thought it was a city. It was a citadel. Who cares? Ooh, nice. Nuke Prime for launch. This better be good, game. This better be good. Well, that was maybe not as satisfying as I had hoped. And then the game carries on till the next city. I, I, I don't think I can handle much more of this. I, I think we're going to have a look at a couple of reviews before my sanity just takes the first train out of here. So let's do that. Your Spectrum awarded the game roughly above average and they wrote Oh no, more space blasting. Haven't we got past all that yet? Still, some of the prettiest aliens that I've terminated in many a moon. And another reviewer wrote, The graphics are great, but this game lacks true depth. And yeah, this is basically the same minigame over and over and over again until you just lose your mind. Not necessarily bad, just in dire need of a redesign, I think. I think I would have agreed on that even back in the day. Sinclair user awarded the game 4 out of 5 and they wrote Glass has stunning 3D effects and is value for money both in terms of quality and quantity of special effects and aliens. Add it to your library of games if you are an arcade fanatic. It takes a lot of beating. Yes, yes it really does. And while you are attempting to beat it, your mental sanity takes a severe beating as well. <laughs> so guys, hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Glass. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers!